What's up, guys? Welcome back to the countdown to Cataclysm. I know it's been a few days. I've been kind of busy. Um, first of all, first off, I want to talk about why I was gone. Um, Saturday I went to a Mushroomhead concert, which my brother um actually opened up for them. My, my brother's band, Walk Like Whales, actually opened up for them, and they did great. Only two bands in the entire concert, and there was a lot of bands there, got a chance from the crowd. One being Mushroomhead, of course, and the other being Walk Like Whales, my brother's band. So, that was pretty good. That um, I have a feeling they're actually going to get signed. You, might, you guys might actually see them in the near future. Um, also, they, they will also be opening up for Ventana on January 15th. So, I am actually excited for that. Um... But let, let's get straight to the um to the show now. Uh, I, actually, I just want to talk about two things that kind of pissed me off today yeah, about WoW. Of course, this isn't the rant. This is the countdown to Cataclysm. Day seven. There is only seven days left until Cata. One week. That's it. Um. And yeah, this this Tuesday. <laughs> We're very close. We are there. Um, this is the last week of Wrath of King. And looking back, I can't say that I won't miss it. Honestly, people, I hear a lot of hate on Wrath of King a lot these days. And, of course, it had a lot of down moments on it. It, lot, it had a lot of things that um, really pissed me off. Um, but... It wasn't all bad. There's a few things about Lich King that I did have to say I like. You know, the new battlegrounds that are introduced, like Stern of the Ancients and Isle of Conquest. They're very fun battlegrounds. I love Isle of Conquest. It introduced aerial combat in battlegrounds. It's something we've never seen before. That's awesome. Um, also introduced, oh, what's it called? The Glaive Throwers. And now we have those in some questing zones. We have a new end, we have a new cut that we've seen from that. Very beastly battleground. So just small stuff like that made Wrath of Lich King worthwhile. Um, also, about the two things I was pissed about. Today is the uh, sixth year anniversary of World of Warcraft. And we got an achievement for him. It was a, we got a feat of strength, actually. But no pet. For the, pa for the past few years, since they've been doing the whole, you know... Anniversary, so you know, cheap thing. They've given us a pet every year. I don't know why they decide. Oh, we're just not gonna do it this year. They didn't really give us a reason. Here's my logic on it. I think, screw the Blizzard pet store. Give us a little Ragnaros for it. Or we saw a model for little Alexstrasza. Give us little Alexstrasza. What is the holdup on that? Why there? There's so many new pet models. What 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 are they planning on using Alex Alexstrasza for? A little Alex, yeah, Alex Straza for? If it's for a quest chain. I'm gonna be pissed. That's kind of stupid. Um, it, it doesn't even make any sense. But um, also the other thing, I just did this quest chain in Hillsbrad, and I know the first thing that's popping in each one of your heads, that stupid flower thing. And yes, it was that stupid flower thing. I hate it. Oh my god, the fourth quest was so annoying. It was stupid, man. I couldn't figure out how to do it. And eventually, um, one of my goodies said, put down, uh, use this strategy because it actually did work. The first time, the, well, the second time I tried it, I messed it the first time because it wasn't really going fast enough. I didn't grab the little green things that come out you. Um, but here's, here's what you should do. In the back, two rows of sunflowers. In... Like right after those two rows, get a row of spitters, and then a row of the freezers, um, and then a row of rock nuts, and then bomb. Use the pumpkin bombs and bomb the hell out of everything. Everything. It's crazy the shit you can do with that. Um. And honestly. If you keep everything going, just the rock nuts will save you. Those things are amazing because it keeps everything occupied. Um, 
one thing for the fourth quest, for the fourth quest that you guys might not be expecting, you have that little bar down down at the bottom. But um, it gets filled up kind of fast after the second wave is done. And when the second wave, when, when I, what I thought was the second wave was done, um, it ha actually has a third, a third wave, a third smaller wave, but with two abominations. So I suggest, you know, keep those sunflowers up and get a shitload of bombs ready. Um, about two pumpkin bombs. If you if you put them down right and keep the abominations occupied with the rock nuts, then you can kill them both with about two bombs. I'm not sure if you can kill kill them with one because I, I tried I tried using one and it, only, it didn't really kill them. So I just put down another one and they died. I didn't really bother to look at the health. The last quest, you just kill a boss. It's like very easy. Uh, it's honestly just hilariously easy. Um, it's actually kind of fun. Um, not 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 just easy, but it's actually pretty entertaining. Um, he w he will do something you haven't actually seen. But he would kill your sunflowers without actually getting to them. Uh, he would just throw some smoke bombs at them, and uh, they'll they'll die eventually. But they don't. He doesn't kill very many of them. You can put it back up, you know, instantly. We're oh, well, almost instantly, pretty much. And um, he'll during that during that one, he'll be throwing down these green balls and. Loot the green ball. They'll have little bags over them. Loot those like crazy as much as you can because they increase the rate at which sun um, solar power comes down. That is just gonna be so helpful. I got I got two bombs out like very fast um, as soon as the cooldown was over for the first one. Um, and you pretty much the best way to kill the boss is to kill him with pretty much like the same way you did the fourth quest. But a lot more bombs. He takes he takes a lot of damage from bombs. About like about fifty percent, maybe maybe twenty percent per hit. No, not twenty percent, but like I don't know, maybe. Um, I had I had two rows of, for him. I had two rows of spitters, one row of freezes, free, freezers or whatever, and one row of rock nuts and two rows of um, sunflowers. Um, and of course, a lot of bombs, a lot of bombs. One one ability I never used through the entire chain. Was that one where you can lay down a pumpkin that will, or like let's kind of vine thing that will snatch a zombie and kill it gradually? I didn't really see a point to that because, well, that's pretty much what a spitter does, and it can do it from range. So, you don't use the things that will just kill kills them gradually. Since that's gonna grab one, just don't do it. It's stupid. Um, I'm not really sure if they can like prevent damage. I guess it's a mix between a spitter and a rock nut, but. Just, just stick with the strategy I explained. That um, it's working a lot, and I'm bored, so I'm gonna go finish up my Feralis quest for the achievement. Oh, also, I'm I'm working on the Lore Master title and the Secret title as well, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of those achievements. I've already got um about a third way through Kalimdor, and a couple of Northrend just because of when I was leveling, um, and some outland ones already. So I I guess I'll see you next time. Just gonna cut it here. See you guys later.